you won't believe what's in the next issue. Just you wait. Watch your back. Well, well. Ricky right Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. A few more steps. Well... Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Even good people or, do crazy you know, things when they're scared. We're having a sale on brooms! Oh no, wait, my programming is telling me we never have sales. Maybe you should. Sure, let's take a look. Excellent.
clear. Oh, someone. Not that it's an option. Heads up. Take a look. 